we are discussing about alna flow so about the formation of alna now we noted that this is the medial cord of brachial plexus after giving your two branches like medial cutaneous nerve of arm and medial cutaneous nerve of forearm this medial cord continues as the ulnar nerve this is ulnar nerve we know that the root value of medial cord is c8 and t1 but ulnar nerve also receives a branch from the ventral army of c7 so the root value of ulnar nerve is c7 c8 and t1 so branch of medial cord of brachial plexus now we we'll look at the course of ulnar nerve and its supply So now, now arising as a branch of medial cord of brachial plexus passes through the medial compartment of the arm and passes behind the medial condyle of the humerus and one thing have to be noted is that it has no supply in the arm supplies no muscles in arm and after reaching the forearm it supplies mainly two muscles know that there is a large deep muscle which supplies the fingers the slash bulky muscle is the flexor digitorum profundus should be noted that only the medial half of this muscle is supplied by the ulnar nerve the lateral half of this muscle is supplied by the median nerve so the medial half of flexor digitorum profundus is supplied by ulnar nerve and it also supplies another muscle which is the flexor carpi ulnaris so these are the two muscles which the ulnar nerve supply in the forearm and this
after reaching here now gives out a sensory branch to the dorsal aspect So let's look at how the sensory branch innovates the palm. This is a dorsal aspect of the palm. This is the medial aspect, it's a lateral aspect. So the sensory branch of the Allana passes here and it's a place median one third of dorsal aspect of palm. So we know that the lateral one third of the dorsal aspect is supplied by the radial nerve. So the medial one third of the dorsal aspect of palm is supplied by the ulnar nerve. And it also supplies medial one and a half fingers up to the distal phalanx and dorsal aspect so this is about the sensory branch we supply the dorsal aspect of the palm. And the main branch of the ulnar now, it splits into two branches. One is superficial. Terminal branch. And another one is the deep terminal branch. So now let's look at the superficial terminal branch. The superficial terminal branch gives out sensory supply to the skin of hypothena eminence. And it also supplies medial one and a half fingers. and it has got a muscular branch to the palmaris brevis so this is the only muscle which is supplied by the superficial terminal branch of the alnana now let's look at the deep terminal branch the terminal branch it supplies certain muscles the 
this is a little finger and the deep terminal branch it supplies certain muscles here muscles of the hypothenar like these muscles are muscles which are supplied muscles of the little finger like abductor digiti minimi the second one is flexor digiti minimi then opponents digiti minimi then muscles which are controlling the fine movements all the intro shape it should be remembered that all the inrosia muscle are supplied by the ulna nerve along and third and fourth lumbricals these are the muscles which are controlling the fine movements of the hand as the ulna nerve supplies the muscles which are controlling the fine movements of the hand we call the ulna now as musicians now <coughs> so the ulna now arising as a branch of middle cord of brachial plexus with the root value as c7 c8 and t1 it has no supply in the arm and in the forearm it supplies two main muscles flexor digitorum profundus medial half and the flexor carpi ulnaris which is a wrist flexor and it gives out sensory branch to the dorsal aspect of the arm so the sensory branch in the dorsal aspect of the arm supplies the medial one and a half fingers up to the distal phalanx and also the medial one third of dorsal aspect of arm and the terminal branches are the superficial terminal branch which supplies the skin of hypothenar eminence and the medial one and a half fingers and the superficial terminal branch gives out a muscular branch to the muscle palmaris brevis the deep terminal branch it supplies the muscles of the hypothenar eminence abductor digiti minimi flexor digiti minimi opponens digiti minimi and all the introsia third and fourth lumbricals the another muscle which is supplied by the ulnar nerve is adductor pollicis this is a deep muscle supplied by the ulna that's all about ulna now if you like the video please subscribe our channel thank you